Hi everyone, this is Sam Cafferty. I'm an application engineer here at QTE. And today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a centering vise or a five axis vise like this one in the Mastercam add-on X Plus. I uh, did a previous video about how to do a normal fixed jaw vise like you'd normally see in a vertical machining center. But we have a lot of customers that use multi-axis machining. Uh, and so these are great for that. You can grab onto just about an eighth of an inch of your part, get onto five sides of it, and they're really handy to use, but they're a little different to set up. And that's what I'm going to go over today. So let's get started. First things first, I'm going to open up my step file. I downloaded this one from Lang. I'm going to control click to select my options. Turn leave edge curves off. I only want the solids. We don't need a wireframe for X plus, and it'll simplify the process a lot if we don't have it. Click OK and open the step file in Mastercam. Now, just like the Kurt Vice, we're going to need to orient this in the machine how we're going to use it. You can see right now my Z axis is alongside the side of the vise. So we're gonna to go to Transform, Dynamic, and we're just gonna window over our whole vise here, and then Selection. I'm gonna set the Nomen at zero, zero, zero. We're going to rotate 90 degrees this direction, 90 degrees this direction. Now our vise is aligned with our top plane WCS. But just like the previous video, if I go to my right view, our Z is still down here. And we need to move that. So I'm going to blue check to say OK and create a new operation. I'm going to select my entire vise again. But this time, I'm going to put the gnomon the top of this step. So on our previous video, the Z0 of our part was along the top of the jaws. And that allows us to put a depth into the fixture program in X plus to show how much of our part we want clamped. However, with a step vise, we're always going to set it on this little notch here. And so we're going to set Z0 on the top of that shelf. So once I have my gnomon set, I can click on the, just the Z axis, drag down until I'm even with my plane. Green check. If I go to fit, you'll see that our Z is aligned right along the top of the jaws. Go back to isometric. So now we've got our vise aligned how we need it to be in the machine but we still need to set it on the levels. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a level for each of our components here. In this particular machine, we're going to have a base, jaw one and jaw two. Because this is a centering vise, the base is going to stay stationary relative to our stock and jaw one and jaw two are going to move equally to clamp the stock. Once I have my base level, create one for jaw one, and another one for jaw two. Then we need to move our components. This is my jaw one. I'm going to right click on that level, move entities. This is my jaw two. Right click on that level, move entities. And then the remainder, will be the base. So I'm going to turn off visibility from my jaws, window over everything left, right click on my base level, move the entities to that. So now we have jaw one, jaw two, and the base. And I'm going to clear out the rest of these levels by going down to clear empty levels and all. So it's at this point that we're going to go ahead and save our file. Click Save up here. And this needs to go in the same fixtures directory. The easiest way to get there is probably to pin it to your quick access and windows once you have it set up. But for now, I'm going to go to my Mastercam shared folder, back to public documents, into X, into fixtures, into parts. 
and save my file here. I'm going to call this Lang 46 millimeter 5x vice. So now we have our master cam file saved. It's time to set it up in X plus as a fixture. So I go to my X plus tab. I'm going to select fixture setup right here. It's already got our master cam file loaded. And now we can set it up from scratch. I know from the part manufacturer's website that the chucking range of this particular vise is six millimeters to 65 millimeters. I can type that in right there and Mastercam will do the math for me. And then my predefined span depth in this case is going to be zero. I'm going to lock that. And here's why. Since we set our Z plane on the top of this step, our stock is always going to be located at Z zero of the vise. Span depth tells you how far from Z to move the material. In this case, we're always going to leave it at zero, so I'm going to leave it there. Now we just simply have to add our components and take a screenshot. So I'm going to right click in the fixture components window, click add component. Let's go ahead and do the base first. The base is going to be at the center and bottom of the stock. I'm going to right click to rename it base. We're then going to add a component. Let's do jaw one. Right click and rename jaw one. This jaw is going to be located at the Y positive, just as it is on the screen. And then we need to choose our reference point for the fixture. This is going to be where that point on the stock matches up with the fixture. So my fixture point is going to be the midpoint of this jaw right there. That will put this point of the stock against this point of the fixture. Then I simply repeat the process for my other jaw. Rename it. This one is going to be the Y negative direction. Choose the same point on the other jaw, center of the step. And now I have all my components set up on the fixture. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and save it. X plus will automatically pull up the directory. So file name is the same as it is for the master cam file. I'm going to click save. Then I'm going to go ahead and fit this to the graphics window. Go to my isometric view. And to make the screenshot look nice, I'm going to turn off these axes here. Click this button to create the thumbnail. And save again. And I'm done. Green check. I can go to X plus, add fixtures. And I see it's been added to my list. And I have my screenshot here. And then you simply add it to your part file, just like you would the previous fixture or any other type of fixture. I'll show you how to do that now. Create a new file. Turn our axes back on. And I'm going to create a piece of stock on my default mill. Let's do a one inch by one inch by one inch. Turn on stock display and shading. There's our cube there. Now we can simply go to X plus, add fixtures, select our five axis vise. Our span depth is locked at zero because we're always going to use that bottom of the fixture. Click green check. And there you have it. Five axis vise on your stock, centered and clamped in Mastercam. You can use this for verify. You can use it for a machine simulation. And once you have it set up, you can add it to any part file with just a few clicks. 
So if you're interested in evaluating X Plus or purchasing a license, uh, just reach out to us, qtemfg.com, or email us at support at qtemfg.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.